All right, now I'm going to have my co-worker, Barbara Worley, come join me, and she is the tax agent here at Forsyth County Extension. Hey, Barbara. Looks like you're making a really good dish today. I am. We are making a uh, bay laurel uh, soup um, broth base. Yeah, so it looks like a great stock where you're concentrating some flavors. So I guess when you're putting all the vegetables in whole, like you are, like kind of rough chopping everything, mm -hmm. and then going to bring them up to pressure, it's creating like a brown stock. So you're really getting all those flavors, and then I guess you're going to be straining them out. Um, yep. Later on in the mm -hmm. process. Okay, cool. So, what else do you need to do? Looks like you've already got some onion, garlic, mm -hmm. let's see, mushrooms, uh, carrot, and parsley. And parsley, yep. And I got that going. It's been going, okay. cooking for uh, about three minutes, starting to get a little brown. Okay, cool. And next. So, this is a, a bay. I'm going to just throw this behind. This sure. is a bay laurel. Um, stock, you said. So I guess that's going to be the predominant flavor that you're going for, and this stuff is really concentrated. Can you tell me a little bit about the herb? Because yeah. you're the herb expert. I here. am. <laughs> and Barbara is our facts and cooking, and actually our what we're using today is a electronic programmable pressure cooker, and you have some publications that you can talk about later. I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so this is a, a product that's really hot on the market, and it has been for a couple of years now, the electronic programmable pressure cookers. Um, really popular kitchen appliance that helps cook one pot dishes really, really quickly to help concentrate some of the nutrients and the flavors. And so I do a lot of presentations on how to use these safely in your kitchen. And so I'm really excited that you are using this today mm -hmm. to show how um, you could really highlight the herbs that you've been using. Uh, and I have to say, it's about. extremely easy to use. I've ever, easy. This is literally my first time using this, uh, any electronic, electronic programmable pressure cooker. And it, it really is easy because you just plug it into a wall and it can transport anywhere. So you put in two... Um... I put in two bay laurels and then uh, the recipe I actually have here, it calls for um, one teaspoon of the Szechuan black peppercorn, but I'm kind of just and eyeballing it. Eyeball yep. the peppercorns. And as you can see, I guess you're putting, like you said, everything in whole. And so that's why you're not eating this as a soup. Right. You're just, you're just pulling it together. Which is why there's like wiggle room for like how I'm slicing right, exactly. all my vegetables. Yeah, it doesn't need to yeah. be perfect. And as you're browning it, that's what's really going to concentrate. It's just like when you roast a vegetable, that really imparts that really deep, dark flavor. And so that's why this is a brown stock. And so you're browning those vegetables mm -hmm. to really get those deep flavors. And then once you add the liquid and we cut it off the saute mode, you're going to put it on a pressure cook mode. Pressure cook it for what, about 40 minutes or so? About 40 minutes, yeah. Yeah. And then um, when it comes off of pressure, we'll show you how to do. There's two types of pressure releases that you can do on these electronic programmable pressure cookers. They can either be manually released, which instantaneously releases the pressure, or they can natural release, um, which means they come down to pressure naturally, but that also adds to the cooking time. So I think in today's recipe, we discussed um, a little bit earlier that this one we're just going to manually release, and I'll show you how to do that safely when we get to that point. Right. Um, we're also going to be adding salt, and to answer your... And I think the salt we're going to do at the end, or... Is that good? Yeah, I think that one goes at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never yeah, mind. you want to do salt at the end to taste after you already have the liquid in there. Right. Um, so how much liquid are we putting in? Three quarts. Three quarts. And I actually need to go grab a measuring cup. A measuring cup. So, let's see how this is going. That looks really, really great. And you can always... You guys can't see it right now, um, but there's a lot of brown bits at the bottom of the stock pot here in the pressure is cooker. Is that okay if it gets Yeah, down? yeah, and so that's really great because once you add the liquid and the pressure comes up, all that brownness is going to be absorbed. So. Yeah, that's really where the flavor comes from. And out. that's exactly, the brown stuff is where the flavor comes from. And to answer your previous question on bay laurel, yeah. Um, that's one of the herbs I'm cooking with today. The other is parsley. Um, bay laurel is an herb. It's native to the Mediterranean. Okay. It's not in it's an ideal environment to grow here, so it can't reach its full, I guess, size because it grows about 50 feet in the Mediterranean. Down here, it does grow, but it usually grows better in containers. It doesn't 
overwinter too well. Mm -hmm. So it usually needs to be grown in containers and brought indoors during the winter, and it's usually pruned back to about 10 or 12 feet. Okay. So it's a nice small size herb that you can grow in containers, and it's really a tree. So it's one of those trees that kind of bonsais. Um, right. It's very cool, and it can be eaten um, or used in dishes, either fresh or dried. Right, yeah. I mean, I, I know my just even growing up in just so many different recipes, my mom would always put it into soups and stocks and broths and, and everything. And then you always were like, oh, you got to always take out that leaf before you eat it because that's something you didn't want to bite down into because of the really pungent deep flavor that it really imparts into whatever. It's a lot of fiber too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not that we're, we're not really made to digest. Right. It's not the easiest, but it's great for flavor, for flavoring soups. Cool. And it's one of the few, do you know any other, and I, this is a real question I actually don't know, do you know any other trees that the leaves are used for flavoring? Um, I know sassafras we use. Sassafras, but also um, there's, you know, some of the lime leaves are used, especially in some Asian cooking. Okay. Um, you know, like the keeper lime mm -hmm. um, are, are used. So, yeah, I mean, that's the first one that comes to mind. It's just not a I mean, it's not common a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I guess it's probably about yeah, I think it's ready to go. Yeah. So I'm so going to do this. I'll come around the other side, and I'll go ahead. So you want to cut the saute off now. And then you're going to go ahead and add that liquid. This is one quart. I'm going to add two more mm -hmm. cups. This measures only one quart. And that should cool it down almost immediately. Yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and yeah, set it. this. Oh. Move this back down here. Okay, I'll go ahead and set this for you. And I already had it set on 40 and minutes. And you want to show them how to put earlier. the top on? And yeah, for sure. So we had it set on manual, which is the, the pressure cook mode, for 40 minutes. And we're going to put the lid on. Um, which is always a fun thing <laughs> to do. You have to get it on just right. It's never an easy feat. And then always make sure that this is um, straight ahead or whatever type of appliance you have because all these are a little bit different to where it can come to pressure. And when it comes to pressure, this little red button at the back that you probably can't see um, will pop up and that means that it's under pressure. And then once that starts, the 40 minute countdown will start. So I guess we will see you back here and 40, 40 minutes. minutes. See ya. <laughs>